everybody how's it going I'm gonna give you guys a couple updates what's been going on here trying to make some more videos for you guys and keep you guys more update I know it's been a while since I've shown you guys the pond in uh, the backyard as well so we'll do that as well as the angelfish and the 125 high in the bedroom because they're gonna get a new home tomorrow so quick update on the backyard finally got the ramp dug out ready to do the rest of this wall it took a lot of digging a lot of roots and whatnot but uh let's check out the ponds up here it's been a while so here's the main pond it's actually starting to get cold around here but luckily i have the heaters in it i got about 2,000 watts of heat four or five hundred watt odessia heaters ton of guppies absolute ton some of you guys may have seen the video I had on Instagram where I showed these guys also Facebook and Twitter as well as on there absolutely love this pond coming out here and feeding these guys And then out here we've got some sword tails. Kind of hard to see with the glare. Let me see some. Alright, let's see what this does. A little cover. Hopefully that helps. Yeah, it's a little better. Sword tail is kind of really dark in here now though. Cold and white clouds down there. They'll last all winter. Looks like the raccoon just destroyed their cage. Another one. Look how red that val is. Love these setups. Oh, I hope I don't rip this. Uh, okay, of course. Jeez! Yeah, this is terrible lighting. But at least you guys can get an idea of what it looks like. This is actually one of my favorites. There's nothing, there's nothing in here right now. Just with the algae and the red val looks really sweet. There's actually a ton of long fin leopard danios in this one, but the val scenario is so thick. And it's actually got a ton of little flowers on it. Oh, some just plopped in there. Hope that was rock. See what it looks like with this over here. Oh, there we go. You guys can see in there a lot better. Lots of platinum reds. Not sure what to do with all these guppies. I absolutely love them in here. So much rock to still move. I'm gonna be so happy when this is done. It has been a mission. But we're getting there. We're getting there. Slowly but surely. Sub speaks. Yeah. 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 Quick peek of these guys on the way up to the stairs. Love this tank. Alright, so here we are in front of the 125 high angelfish tank. We got a Bulbadis Hutilati over on that side, and we have a Balinese script over here. We got a Koi angelfish. These guys are absolutely beautiful. This is a uh, silver, I believe, silver marble. Not 100% sure. Looks like they tried to mix it. It's got a little bit of the orange on its head. If you guys know what that is, let me know in the comments. 
Yeah, really cool tank. Look at the blue. And the blue on them. They all had that line too. Oh my gosh, this is not like the phone. Alright, so there's a quick update for you guys. Should be interesting to see how this video comes out because this is the first time I've actually used my full movie camera, the whole video, trying to shoot vlog style, which was super awkward. And uh, I don't know, hopefully it turns out alright. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And uh, yeah, uh, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Until next time, peace everybody. Have a great one. Oh, and if you're wanting these Angelfish GCCA, Sunday, October 6th, 10 to 2 at the uh, Hoffman Estates in Chicago. I'll be taking those up there with me. So hopefully I'll see some of you guys up there. Peace.